This is little Mac. Mac is five weeks old and he's just doing the stretch. Mac, we're about to wrap you up and show mummy how I would put you to sleep. So because Mac is under eight weeks, we wouldn't use a safe sleeping bag. This is a small wrap and wrap and we would wrap him like this. So we have actually just woken Mac up. So he probably will be a little bit upset when we wrap him up to put him asleep now, but he might not be. So the first wrap comes over this side like this and we put his arm down by the side and the second one we would do like this. Now I would never wrap Mac, I would never put any baby into a wrap which looks more like a sleep bag with a zip up the front because if their arms are up by their sides they can use their arms to flip to their tummy and if they flip to their tummy it's a very unsafe sleeping position. So this is how we wrap them, like so. And what I didn't say at the beginning of the video, Mum, is that we need his about an inch down. I'll show you at the end. So we'll put him about an inch down. His little feet stick out the end. You can just put the sleeping bag up like that. At eight weeks, you would change him into a sleep bag underneath the wrap and you would move to the bigger wrap. In our cot, cots, the cots we recommend, we make sure you have slats the whole way around for optimum airflow. If you have a cot that has an enclosed end, you just make sure you put the enclosed end against a wall. That way, if that's against the wall and these two sides are out, there's lots of airflow. If you didn't and you had two enclosed ends and then you put that against a wall, you've now got three enclosed sides. Yep. The mattress is really important. So the mattress we have is, we make sure it's like an adult mattress cut down. So if you press your hand on the mattress, you make sure that you can't see a handprint there. And then the mattress protector, this one is 100% cotton and it, I'm not gonna put the sheet back on, which you always would because I don't wanna lift the mattress and tilt Mac. But the mattress protector is 100% cotton. If you don't have 100% cotton, you can use a cotton towel. The bamboo sheet stops the moisture from going through the mattress protector and the mattress. So because Mac is five weeks old, we, are, we would do a bodysuit, which looks like this, a smaller one. We would have them in a bodysuit. Then like you have them in a baby grow, we'd have them in a baby grow, which can look like this, obviously much smaller version for Mac. And you wouldn't, wouldn't use a singlet, which comes to here, because if a singlet comes to there, it can ride up and irritate. So we always use the bodysuit that buttons underneath. And Babies often wake too often at night for a feed. At five, week, five weeks old, we should see him going to bed about seven. He might not settle at 7 p.m. Often babies at 7 p.m. don't settle because it's the time when they used to be in your tummy and you may have worked or you may have had other children to run around after and you may have had them in your tummy and then you would have sat down at that time and that's when he would have woken up because you weren't walking around rocking him to sleep. So we find seven o'clock can be the hardest time for a baby of this age to go to sleep. So it's all right if you decide, I'm not going to pick him up because it might disturb him now, but if you decide to pick him up and hold him and get him to go to sleep from seven to 10.30 on you like this. Look, he likes his wrap. So we would expect a baby of this age to sleep from about seven till about 10.30 where we do a dream feed. And then we would expect him to wake maybe once at about five o'clock for a feed. This is at five weeks old at his size. Often just having the correct bedding helps to stretch that out. So we put a bamboo sheet on top. The reason we use the bamboo sheet, people say, why do you use a sheet with the blankets, is to keep the blankets clean. If you didn't use the sheet, then the blankets might not stay clean and you'd have to wash them more often. On Mac, because he's now in a cot, we're going to use 12 layers. So that's one blanket folded once, and then again, you'd be amazed how many people don't know what we mean by folding a blanket twice makes four layers. So that's it folded twice, which makes four layers. We have folded this uh, luxury one twice, which makes four layers. Because he is in a cot, we're going to put another uh, four layers on him. This is the cellular blanket. So let me, look, he likes it, he's yawning. So all of our blankets are see-through. So this is folded once, makes two layers. 
folded twice makes four layers. Because we have three on him each folded twice, you've now got your 12 layers. We put the sheet over the top to keep the blankets clean. Now, it's a good idea to have, which has disappeared again, a standalone thermometer. Because if you have a thermometer attached to a baby monitor or a room or a heater or anything else, it's got too many things going on and it can give you the wrong reading. A mon uh, not a monitor, a thermometer, a standalone thermometer. This standalone thermometer is good because it tells you the temperature in at the baby's cot, where the baby is in the cot. So now with Mac, I wouldn't tuck the blankets in because if you tuck the blankets in, you're going to get these cold, uh, cold air is going to go down here and that could cause Mac to want to roll. So I cocoon the blankets like in the hospital where you do this and then he's not going to want to roll.